Hi, I'm going to show you how to do some fishing on the Wi-Fi Pineapple Mark IV. Now before you do this, make sure you check your local laws that it is legal to do this and make sure you have full permission on the network you're doing this on and if you're doing this on a client, make sure you have their permission as well and please be careful, you do this at your own risk. I'm not responsible for any stolen passwords please hack responsibly. Okay, the first things you're going to need to do is make sure you're connected to your Wi-Fi Pineapple and if you need some help on the Wi-Fi Pineapple you can check out the other videos I did with internet connection sharing and maybe uh, how to update it and all kinds of other fun stuff. So anyways, what you're going to need to do to do some phishing is you're going to need to download some packages. You're going to need WinSCP which is basically a file transfer. You're going to need to transfer some files to it. And you're going to need the fish pineapple package, which you can get off of Wi-Fi Pineapple.com. And you can go there to learn more about the Wi-Fi Pineapple and for more packages and doing cool, awesome stuff. So I will provide that in the download in the show notes down below so you can download it. It's usually in a zip, so you can uh, just extract it, and there you go. So the first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to go to the configuration page and we're going to go down to DNS spoof host. You're going to erase anything that's here, just backspace or manual whatever text editor, just click backspace and everything. And then in the first line you're going to add the IP address of 172.16.42.1 space and there's going to be a little asterisk. Basically what that means, any URL that you type in requesting like google.com, googleisevil.com, facebook.com or anything is going to go to this IP address which is the Wi-Fi Pineapple's IP address and we're going to run some specially edited files that look like facebook.com but it's not actually facebook.com and make sure the and then when you're done with that update spoof host once you're done with that, you're going to go down here and make sure the URL down here on the landing page for phishing is going to redirect.php. If it's not, make sure it's to that and update landing page. Okay. Now we're going to use WinSCP to transfer those specially crafted files over, the HTML files. So we're going to type in the IP address of the Wi-Fi Pineapple 172.16.42.1 the username is going to be root and password is going to be pineapples are yummy and where the file, file protocol is going to be SCP and we're going to log in This is normal. Don't worry about this error. The server's host key was not found in the cache. Um, just click yes. You may get two errors groups and a pass WD or whatever. So here is the WinSCP application up and running. On the left side is the files, directories, and structure of your hard disk on your computer. And the right side is the files, directories, and structure of the remote uh, Wi-Fi pineapple. So you can click on this top folder with the back arrow, the two dots, or you can just go up here, click and go to root, either way. And you're going to go to the www folder. This is where you're going to store all of the specially crafted HTML files in here for phishing. So let's go to our downloads folder, wherever you downloaded it to, and we're going to go to that folder that you downloaded previously is called fish-pineapple. We're going to go to www and you can just click and drag over and it'll bring up a little box and say copy and it'll copy it over. Make sure you bring over Twitter, Twitter under dash files and Facebook and Facebook under dash files and over here in this main folder www. I don't have to copy it over because I already have it in here. So let's see, I can explain how this works. So when you go to, let's say, twitter.com, it's going to ask for the IP address, 
and it's going to get the IP address of 172.16.42.1, which is the pineapple's IP address, which we did over here, which is the DNS spoof that we're going to run. And it's going to go to this main landing page right here, index.php. And we can see it's going to instantly refresh, and it's, go to, it's going to go to redirect.php. And then it's going to go to this. And right here, it's running some PHP. It's going to look in the URL box. It's going to look for Facebook. So it doesn't matter what it is. It just has to have the word Facebook in it. And if it does, it's going to redirect you to facebook.html, which is right here, the phishing page. And then with this specially crafted page, they edited the post function. So when it posts something, it's going to invoke and go to the error.php. You don't have to worry about that. It's pre-edited in that download folder. And you can change this right here, the Facebook or Twitter or Twitter and where it's pointing to in here and just save it, whatever you want to do. So let's take a look at the error.php. It's going to look in the name and pass, and it's going to clean it up a little bit, and it's going to put the username and password in the pineapple forward slash fish dot log file. And you'll notice down here there's some JavaScript running. It's going to say window.history.back, and what you'll notice on your web page, as soon as you log in your information, username and password, it's going to automatically redirect to the main page back to where you were. Okay, now that you've got that, all the files on there, we're going to go back to the main page and we're going to start the DNS spoof. Once you've enabled that, you can also enable Karma, which is Yazga, an implementation of Karma for cool stuff. You can watch a previous video I did on how to do that, but for the simplicity of this video, I'm just going to focus on some phishing pages. So I'm going to go on my phone, you can go into another computer or whatever, and connect to Pineapple. But if you were running Yazaga, it would connect to a network you think you were connected to, but you actually aren't. And you can do a lot more fun stuff. So I'm just going to go to Twitter.com on my phone. And you'll notice it'll load up Twitter.com. It looks like Twitter. But you'll notice, to protect yourself in the future, if you're being attacked, you'll notice in the URL box, it'll say Twitter.com forward slash twitter.html. So watch out for that. Normally when you go to twitter.com, it's not going to say that in the URL box. But I'm just going to enter my username and password in. I'm going to put um, uh, lame user. And for the password, I'm going to put lame pass. Now remember, this looks just like twitter.com. and I'm going to sign in. This is on my Android phone. And I notice it's loading the page. Hopefully this works. Sometimes these live demos don't actually work, but uh, let's see. See. Let me try re-logging in. Okay. I think, okay, there we go. It reloaded back to the main page. Okay, let's see if it worked. Hopefully it worked. So yours is going to go into pineapple. And right in here in the fish.log, you should see it. There it is. You can see the date. It's off. and I hope we're not in 1970, but um, there is the URL, and there is the username, lame user, and the password, lame pass. So there you go. That's how to do some phishing on the Wi-Fi Pineapple Mark IV. Now, remember, again, please hack responsibly. You are responsible for uh, doing this, and make sure you check your local laws. Make sure it's it is legal to do this, 
and that's about it so happy hacking and if you like this video you can subscribe um, rate comment and uh, I'll see you later